What is up guys, it is Barry Michael Doyle here and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, we're going to show you the node TypeScript starter template that I made because I find it so frustrating that every time I start a new little node, bot, project, whatever I want to do, I spend like an hour or two just trying to set it up to be absolutely perfect and realize like it's always the same process, so why not just make this little starter template? And then I figured, why not share it with the rest of you because I feel like what I'm doing here is pretty useful and might be helpful to some of you guys to just get up and running quickly so you can code instead of worrying about setting things up. So let's dive into this project. So this project is open on GitHub if you feel like checking it out and downloading it. Currently I don't have a readme so if any of you feel like paying attention and helping me out here by adding a readme that would be great. If one of you does I will mention you in the comments of this video. But yeah, the link to this project is in the description below and you are welcome to just copy this code and use it as is. But let's dive into the actual code base to see what it really does. Right, so here we are inside VS Code. I have mostly built this to work nicely with VS Code. Um, I will put the extensions that I use in the video description as well because there's some nice little settings there like automatically importing sorts and stuff and we format on save and it works nicely with Prettier and ESLint. It is absolutely fantastic. Anyways, we have a project here. It literally is a console.log hello world. This works very nicely with ESLint and Prettier and like that works really well together. So example, if I change the code here to be like um, double quotes, I want to enforce a standard where maybe we only do um, single quotes. If I save here, it changes back to single quotes. It also ends every file with a new line. Um, there's a bunch of things. I don't like semicolons, so whenever I save it, just gets rid of them. You can change that around. So if you went into Prettier and you said semi true, and then I go back here and I save, it's supposed to work, but I think when you change these Prettier rules, oh, if I spell true correctly, that would work. Um, so if I go in here now and I say save, then it adds a semicolon to anything I do. Uh, but yeah, so you're free to change this to whatever you prefer. It's just some way to enforce consistency across your code base because that in general makes it much easier for you and everyone else who's using your code base to read. So if we look at the scripts here, we have a build script, so that's normal. Usually you build the project and then you run it for uh, node TS. Uh, but we've also got a start script, so which runs build and then it, it runs the actual build project. But we have we use nodemon for development so that we can rebuild it every time a change happens which is quite nice because you can see your changes on the go if you need to this works for some projects and other projects it doesn't work too well it really depends what you're doing so you can choose whether or not you want to use that otherwise you can just use the traditional start method here there's no tests but the script is there just in case and then we have these other lint and lint and fix and prettier format rules these are mainly used for when you're pushing up to git we have a nice little setup here where we we do a whole lint stage thing and it, it calls all our functions together and this is just set up amazingly so every time you commit it will do a linting check to make sure that you are following the linting rules which is great if you have any questions about that please let me know in the comments below or even drop an issue on the actual repo so let me just show you how this nodemon thing works uh, at the moment we have this hello world here so in general we would run npm run start and then you get hello world printed and then uh, i'll change this to hello barry obviously now it doesn't do anything but if we were to uh, run start colon dev like this then it starts watching for changes so it says hello barry there and if i change it back to hello world and save it oops my bad then it, it restarts the project automatically really quickly it doesn't have to rebuild it just like changes the output just like that this really works well and i definitely enjoy the speed at how that works it's just great so we have this whole thing here we have the ts config setup as well to just how i prefer this can all be tweaked by you if you want to you can just you know fork the project and tweak it to work the way you want it to work uh, but the point is it's a nice easy way to get up and going immediately so you can just start writing code like you know I can I don't know just print one plus two see what that does you see I don't have to worry about formatting because on save it just fixes so yeah personally I find this to be a pretty great project um, 
I'd really appreciate some help on just writing up a readme because I hate doing that. Uh, so if any of you feels like helping out and if you have questions, again, just throw it in the comments. If you have any issues with the project that think need to be added, then drop it in the repo as well. Uh, and yeah, I'm opening this up to pull requests. If anyone feels like contributing to it, you're welcome to. You'll have your name as a little contributor icon on GitHub, which would be, I don't know, an additional nice thing for the CV, I guess, because you're contributing to multiple open source projects. Anyways, guys, that's going to be me for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and find this useful. And I will catch you in the next one.